The federal liberals are doing their level best to connect the conservatives to so-called white supremacists, despite not having any evidence that any such connection exists. They just released their updated terror watch list. Of the 51 groups named, the vast majority are Islamic extremist groups. The other two are white supremacist groups that don't seem to have an actual presence in Canada. The Iranian Republican Guard was not on that list. But every time they open their mouth, they mention white supremacism is a major issue and a grave threat to Canada. The Liberals trying to make it one does not make it so. The two groups added to the list are Blood and Honor and Combat 18. Both groups emanate out of the UK, which has had a long history of white supremacist groups dating back to the National Front and, to a certain degree, affiliated soccer hooligans. The other groups added were Iranian-connected extremist groups. But the headlines, and there were many, were all about the government of Canada adding two white supremacist groups to that list. None of this is to suggest there isn't an element of white supremacy in Canada. There is. But it's very small and consists mainly of keyboard warriors in their mom's basement. Do they show up on the radar of CSIS? Of course they do. CSIS monitors all manner of extremist groups, but make no mistake, the bulk of CSIS investigators are more concerned with Islamist extremist groups, foreign espionage, and attempts to infiltrate or corrupt our government. So why the spin and, and the push by the Liberals? Well, with an election coming up in just a few months, I can only guess it is the old Liberal trope of always trying to paint Conservatives as white racists. And the Liberals are the only party which can be fair to all groups. It's been that way for virtually every election I can remember. Sometimes it's just louder than others, but it's always there. Remember the elections in the 90s and how they and their media lapdogs attacked Preston Manning and his Reform Party. We had 10 years of conservative government under Stephen Harper. And despite all the howling of racism and that they'd legislate against abortion, they did nothing of the sort. At some point, Canadians have to stop listening to the howls of outrage over manufactured issues and start asking questions about real issues. The Liberals have accomplished very little in their term of the last four years. They legalized marijuana and fumbled the rollout badly. They still haven't fixed the Phoenix computerized pay system for their federal civil service, and they've raised taxes on the middle class and they managed to hobble the energy industry, the economic lifeblood of this country. Not an enviable record to run on. So, they are resorted to the hoary old chestnut of racism. What's next? Soldiers on the streets with guns. <laughs> they seem bereft of any new ideas and are just the same old tax and spend liberals who scream racist at every opportunity. For True North, I'm Leo Knight. Unlike the mainstream media and the CBC, we're not getting millions in taxpayer dollars. We rely on Canadians like you for our entire existence. If you like the content of True North, please go to tnc.news to donate and support independent journalism. Thank you.